Yes, yes, people, what is good? Right, today is an update video on Ishak Al Shuraka Gold. I know I've just butchered that bad, but I tried, goddammit. Stay tuned, people. Good YouTube, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Cologne, and if you're tuned in, thank you for doing so, people. I hope everybody is doing well, and I hope your year has got off to a good start. Right, this is an update video. You've just seen the intro. I'm not going to try and pronounce the name again, because I'm just going to butcher it, but it's coming from the house of the Taffa. All right, God, I will try. It's called, I think it's called Ishak. Al Sharaka Gold. That is how I think you pronounce it, but I'm probably wrong. Right, this is a 100ml bottle, other perfume concentration. The price of this I picked up for was for £36. And let me tell you saying that is a steal. This fragrance is so close to Rosondo Matteo number no. five. I've been wearing these side by side. And unless you know this fragrance inside and out, you wouldn't have a clue if you was wearing this one. They are so, so close, but we're gonna get to that. Right, let me show you the atomizer and then I'll read you the notes and then we'll go from there. It is a weighty, heavy cap, solid metal, look. And then the atomizer, not bad, sort of little puffs but it gets the job done. You do not even need to dig your nose in on the test strip. This thing fills the air, but I'm gonna smell it anyway, because I I love Rosondo Matteo number five, and I love this fragrance. Right, oh, it is good. Right, you got caramel and saffron in the top. In the mid, you got tonka bean, suede, and leather. And in the base, you got amber, vanilla, and musk. This opens up with the caramel, with that sweet tonka bean, it's heavy on the vanilla, you get the saffron, it's adding a little bit of spice to the fragrance, so it's sweet, it comes across a little creamy, you get that leather and that suede, but it is so smooth and it is in the back, it sort of rides the fragrance, it never shows, it's not leather heavy at all, because you've got the caramel, the tonka bean, you've got that amber, you've got the vanilla, so it's sweet, warm, it even comes across a little bit powdery. Right, Rosond it's the same with Rosondo Mateo. When Rosondo Mateo opens, you get what I've just explained, but you get a medicinal, a medicinal plastic note. You also get that in this, but in this fragrance, it's more heavy with that medicinal plasticky smell. You get that in this, but it ain't as strong. No way near as strong. This is more heavy on the amber, the vanilla, and the tonka bean. This fragrance, that is how the fragrance is. That is basically the life of the fragrance. It's not complex, sort of what you get at the beginning is how the fragrance rides through the life of it. And once it dries down, it turns a little bit more powdery, and then that amber just shows its face a little more. Right, Unle I've got to say this. This has floral note, or I think exotic floral notes in the note breakdown. This doesn't have no floral notes in the note breakdown, but I swear I can detect a floral tone in there somewhere. These two are so close. If you forgot about the plasticky medicinal smell, to me that would be 98% similar. They are that close. The Taffa has done such a great job on 
replicating or duping this fragrance. So close, so, so close. The longevity and the projection are nearly the same. This opens up a little bit louder with that vanilla and that tonka bean. And the projection is solid for two and a half to three hours. Like a good solid projection. You've got a nice big scent bubble around you. And then it dials down. Even the four and a half to five hour mark is radiating a little bit off your skin. And then about the six hour mark, it turns into a skin scent and it stays there until the ninth hour. And that is about what you get on Rosondo Mateo number five as well. So let's just sum this fragrance up. It's vanillic, it's ambery, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's warm, it's inviting. It's a little bit powdery at times. People, I urge you, if you like them notes that I've just explained to you, or you like Rosondo Mateo number five and you're running low, or you wanted to get a bottle, I'm telling you people, try this fragrance, 36 pound in the UK for a 100 ml bottle. I couldn't, when I started testing these fragrances, I couldn't believe how close they were for the price difference. This is 150 or 170, I believe, 150, 170 pound, 36 pound. What does that say? I mean, I don't know how these companies do it. Just a quick one, people, as I forgot to mention this in the video, schoolboy error, that's my bad on my part. Right, this is a cold weather fragrance. This would go great for gatherings, formal events, or a date night because it's sweet, warm, inviting, it's intoxicating. People are gonna love the way you smell. Back to the video. Right, people, thank you for sticking with me. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance. This is one of the best or better Latafa fragrances I have tried, and they drop some banger fragrances. So what does that say? But let me know if you've tried this. Right, people, remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore, and I will definitely see you on the next one. Cheers.